Welcome back to the channel, my fellow traders and investors. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about DWAC stock or Trump SPAC, right? It's been making recent waves with really big moves to the upside, dramatic moves to the downside, and all the stuff that we've seen with SPACs in the past. However, this also represents a massive money-making opportunity. So in this video, I'm gonna be breaking down its full technical analysis, price target, and my personal strategy of how I plan to be trading and investing into the stock at this point to make a nice profit. So all I ask in return is that you subscribe so that this video can be pushed out to more traders that need a better understanding of what's happening and what's come and the massive move that could potentially be in the works. And if you wanna learn technical analysis for yourself and a ton of advanced trading strategies, be sure to go get my book, A Technical Trader's Handbook on Amazon, which is the number one hot release in public finance in the world. So be sure to go get it and let's jump into the technicals. All right, so jumping into the technicals in this one month hourly chart, we can see a few things right off the bat. So first of all, we can see obviously DWAC stock had its massive run up, right? Then we formed our head and shoulders. We had our left shoulder, head, right shoulder. Then we broke below our neckline here at about you know $80 a share. Since then, we've kind of been in a downtrend. Now, recently, we can see buyers have somewhat begun begin to step up again, right? We've kind of begin start forming higher highs and higher lows, indicating somewhat of a bullish momentum returning. But again, we can see that we've now broken below this channel yet again, and we're starting to drift lower and lose some of that momentum. In fact, even though the red MACD line crossed above the green signal line right over here, indicating that buyers regained their momentum. Again, we can see it's now again crossing back below, showing that they're beginning to lose their momentum again. And we can also see how the stock has broken below the 9 EMA, which is this blue line, right? Essentially, the 9 EMA shows who's controlling the trend and whether buyers are willing to pay a premium compared to DWAC shorter term average price. You can see we were above, turning into support, turning into support. Now, again, we've broken below the 9 EMA, showing weakness. And overall, we can see how volume has really dramatically died down. And now, this is for a few reasons. Obviously, we had our big pump, a lot of people made a lot of money. But at the same time, the biggest thing that's going on is that we're forming this massive symmetrical triangle getting tighter and tighter and tighter in this range and as we know triangles are a form of consolidation and as i've told you guys in all of my previous other videos triangles can go either way they usually either result in a major breakout to the upside or a major break to the downside now there are a few strategies that we'll discuss in a little bit to avoid you know going playing the wrong way but for now, we can just see that right now we're setting up for that really big move as we're consolidating and getting tighter in this range right over here. Now going to the daily chart, we can see that somewhat of the longer term trend is still intact. You know, we pushed up, we formed these two massive gravestone dojis, which were very bearish and indicated very strong selling pressure. But again, when we pushed back down, we turned the 9 EM into support and now we're kind of bouncing. And at this point, if I actually go back to the hourly chart, we can see that it almost looks like we're in the process of somewhat forming potentially a cup and handle, right? We're getting our cup, now we're slowly drifting lower, forming our handle before that next breakout to the upside. Obviously, it's not confirmed and I'll discuss how to you know catch this in my strategies in just a little bit but as you can see it's kind of beginning to look like somewhat of a cup and handle potentially with a breakout to the upside because again there is a lot of hype around this play and as we've seen with SPACs before with other SPACs similarly they've pushed up come down seen other rallies and then eventually you know drop back down all the way down to the ground but regardless that means there's a great short-term potential to be trading this so now that you get a rough understanding of the technicals and how things are beginning to look let's talk about my price target and my strategies to profit so before I buy into DWAC stock at this point, I'm going to be waiting for a few things and a few confirmation signals to indicate to me that buyers are really in control and that we're going to see a return move to the upside. Now, as you know, what I'll be waiting for is a break above this level here at about $77 a share. Now, you may be asking me, why is that? Well, $77 was our previous lower high, right? You can see we're forming lower highs, lower highs, lower highs, and this was our previous slower high so until we break above this level technically we're still in a downtrend like we could push up but technically we're still trading below a previous low and we're still in a downtrend but the moment we break above it that's when we officially break below that previous low and start the formation of an uptrend and also break above this top diagonal resistance line where we've been finding resistance so that's going to be the key level to be watching out for and where i'd personally be looking to buy into once we get a break above this level right over here then from there i could probably see dwac stock probably head up all the way here 
to about $98 a share where we were having some resistance in this area as well. But overall, placing in the Fibonacci retracement from our swing high all the way down to our swing low. We can see that our 50 retracement here at about $115. This is probably going to be that key take profit level where we had a very strong level of resistance right over here. And it's also our 50 retracement and also kind of happens to be the swing high of our triangular channel pattern. The reason being is that that 50 retracement is that midpoint. It's that make or break level. We have our zero, we have our hundred and we have our 50 being the midpoint. And so this is very often that key level where we face major resistance and push up to and also where there tends to be a lot of profit taking. So on that break above 77, I'd be looking to buy into that with that take profit level here at about $115 where we've had resistance in the past. Now definitely expect some meaningful resistance along the way as well, right? We have some resistance right here at about you know $80 a share over here where we broke below our neckline right over here. So this is gonna be a very strong resistance level as well. We might face some resistance here at about 100 as well because you know 100 is kind of like that whole number level as well as we kind of had some resistance in this general area right over here. But overall 115 is looking like that take profit level for me. But that's my bullish case. Let's talk about how to profit on the downwards play right because regardless of whichever way your stock goes you should be able to profit right and so let's talk about that scenario of what happens if it ends up breaking lower through this triangle pattern so on a breakdown lower the key level of support to be watching for is going to be right here at about this level here about 65 dollars where in fact today we actually came down to and kind of bounced again the reason being is that 65 dollars is our previous higher low right you know in this triangle pattern we're forming lower highs and we're forming higher lows getting tighter and tighter in this range so as long as we're above our previous higher low, technically, again, we're still in an uptrend, right? Technically, we're still above this level and we're st buyers are still committing to the higher price level. But once we break below it, guess what? Then we form a lower low, right? And we enter a downtrend and begin trending downwards. And then from there, you'd probably expect a lot of sellers to step in and short the stock all the way back down and buyers to take a ton of profit with their stop losses right below 65. Now, you can even see that's why today we're coming down to 65 and starting to somewhat bounce because that's a level that buyers are going to want to protect at all costs. Otherwise, we're going to see a big breakdown to the downside. And also, that's going to cause the capitulation of this, you know, triangle causing the stock to end up dropping quite a bit lower. Now, on that break lower, the next level of support below that will probably be the swing low of this triangle here about $50. That might be a good take profit level if you do decide to get in on the short. But apart from that, then the next level of support below that will most likely be this level way back over here at about 37 30 $40 a share where we had a previous level of support right in this area. So those are going to be the key support and take profit levels. And with that being said, guys, if you enjoy this in-depth technical breakdown, be sure to like and subscribe. And if you want to learn technical analysis for yourself, be sure to go get my book, A Technical Trader's Handbook on Amazon. If you want to learn all these advanced trading strategies for yourself to become more profitable. With that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one.